Hello guys, this is DBL Engineering Services Revit tutorial on creating details of walls and wall footing. We are going to create architectural and structural wall with Riverworks. So let's get started. Let's open our Revit application. Create new model. Browse for other type of template. Choose US metric and default metric. Open and click OK. Go to elevation view. Add some level, change the elevation as negative 600, then rename it as top of footing. Choose yes to rename also the level 3 as top of footing under floor, floor plan. Then go to floor plan uh, on top of footing, change the detail as fine, then let's make wall. Then change it as level 2 on the top of our wall. Then let's create our wall. Let's make 5000 millimeter wall here. Then click to edit the wall. Edit type. Duplicate it. Let's have a 150 millimeter wall. Then click OK. Edit the structure. If you want to have a preview on the plan of our wall here, then let's have an additional function of our wall. So let's insert it, then choose it as a finish one, and then this one will be the finish two, and then let's go, let's move it downward. Okay, let's change the thickness. Of our finish one to 25 millimeter and our masonry as 100 millimeter and for our finish to 25 millimeter let's paste also the materials for finish one let's change it to gypsum wallboard and the same also for the finish two Let's change the material of our masonry to masonry type. Okay. After that, click OK. And OK. So it's perfect. We have now edited the wall. Then let's make this wall to be structural. Okay. Let's click the wall and under structural, Check the box. Okay. After that, let's make our wall footing. And click the structure under wall foundation or wall footing. Click the desired wall. Okay. And then let's make our section to have a preview on what we had been created. Then let's go to the sections and click the section one here. Change our detail to find. So that's perfect. Then let's move this one. Then change the scale to 1 is to 50. Then we are now ready for our paper works. So go to structure. Let's change first our clear concrete cover. Take note that any structure like foundation exposed to earth, the clear concrete cover will be. 75 mm so this will be our footing then let's add for our wall our wall will be 40 millimeter then okay so let's select our footing here then change our concrete cover as 75 and for our wall it will be 40 then click the stack rebar. Then let's click OK. Then let's load a family rebar shape. Then let's go to our US metric library. Then choose structural rebar shape. Choose M underscore zero zero as our rebar. Then let's put our rebar to our wall footing. 
then click it press escape then click again the created bar priority bar let's choose our diameter here 13 millimeters and then let's put the hook both ends to 90 degrees hook then let's define it the rebar set to maximum spacing as 300 then let's put our longitudinal bar let's change the rebar diameter to 13 millimeter and then let's change the placement to perpendicular then place it. so change it again the rebar shape click the max the fixed number here then input how many pieces say four let's click the rebar and edit it let's move the rebar into proper placement okay for the wall let's choose again the rebar and then change the placement to parallel and put it let's click our rebar change it to 10 millimeter and hook at end then modify it click the rebar then the rebar shape will have a maximum spacing of 400 for our horizontal bar that's the same procedure let's click the perpendicular then put the rebar here and then let's have a spacing of 400 also so let's move our rebar here from top of footing will be 50 so let's customize our rebar let's move this one the concrete cover and let's extend our rebar for our dowel for our beam okay like that okay after that let's have a 3d view let's change our visual style to wireframe and the detail line to fine let's customize our rebar let's highlight the rebar here press and hold ctrl key to select the rebars and then change the graphics view visibility into view as solid after that, so let's set our rebar for wall footing. Go to overview graphics view by element. Change the pattern as solid, color as spread. Okay, then okay. Then okay. Like that for our wall, the same procedure. Overview. Then material. I feel and let's say it will be blue. So okay, this is the end of our tutorial. I hope you have learned something and you enjoy it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my channel. Thank you.